Okay, so finding the future value and the present value of a general annuity. So we have this given, so quarterly payments of 2,000 pesos at the end of its term for 5 years with interest rate of 8% compounded annually. Now since the payment interval, it's quarterly and the interest rate, that's 8% compounded annually. So we need to convert this 8% compounded annually to the interest rate compounded quarterly. Then from this problem, these are the given. So the periodic payment, that's 2,000 pesos. Uh, this M sub 1, that's the payment interval. Now since quarterly, so therefore, that's 4 times in a year. So M sub 1 is equal to 4. Then the rate, that's 8%. So convert this one to decimal, 0.08. Then M sub 2, we have this compounding period, so compounded annually, so therefore, once in a year. Then the time, that's the number of years, so we have 5 years, so T, that's equal to 5. So to convert this 8% compounded annually to interest rate compounded quarterly, this is the formula. Then substitute now the values, so R that's 0 0.08 over M sub 2, that's 1. Then M sub 2 is 1 over M sub 1, that's 4. Then minus 1. Then simplify, so this 1 plus 0 0.08 over 1, that's 1 1.08. Then this 1 over 4, that's 0 0.25. Then minus 1. Then to solve for J, so we have 1.08 to the power 0.25 then equals minus 1 so it's 0 0.01942727 uh, 27 so 0 0.01942727 so this is now the interest rate compounded quarterly so to solve for the future value so this is the formula, so J that's 0 0.01942727 to 7, and N, we have M sub 1 times the time, so M sub 1 is 4, time is 5, so 4 times 5, so therefore N is 20. Then substitute now all the values to this formula to get the future value, so P that's 2000. Then 1 plus J, that's 0 0.019427 to the power N, that's 20 minus 1 over J, that's 0 0.019427. So to get the future value, so using a calculator, so we have 1.019427 to the power 20. Then equals, then minus 1, equals, then divide by 0 0.019427, equals, then times 2,000. So this is now the future value, 48,318.44. So 48,318.43 or point. 44. Then to get the present value, so using this formula, so substitute now all the values, so P that's 2000, then 1 minus 1 plus J to the power negative 20 over J, so the present value now, so using calculator, so 1 minus so this is 1.019427 to the power negative 20 equals then divide by 0 0.019427 uh, equals then times this 2000. So this is now the present value. 
32,884.42. So, 32,884.42. So, this is how to solve the future value and the present value of a general annuity.